Welcome to the California State-Specific Exam Q&A Review. Question number five. California is a public land state that we've built sections, townships, ranges, meridians, all these great things. And the California board expects you, the newest land surveyor in the state, to be able to competently and confidently practice public land law and public land surveys. So let's do one of those. I like the public lands and I hope you do too. One of the most important distinctions in this PLSS system is the difference between a lost, an obliterated, or an existent corner. Each of these corners has a legal definition that you must know in order to classify the corner as one of those three. Now, an obliterated corner is one of the following four answer choices. A, one identified by verifying the evidence of the monument or is accessories by reference to the description in the field notes or by located by an acceptable supplement survey record, some physical evidence or testimony. B, one at whose point there is no remaining traces of the monument or its accessories, but whose location can be perpetuated, or the point for which may be recovered beyond a reasonable doubt, as the acts and rules of the interested landowners, competent surveyors or qualified local authorities, witnesses, or some other record evidence. A point of a survey whose position cannot be determined beyond a reasonable doubt by either traces of the original mark or from acceptable evidence or testimony that bears upon the original position and whose position can be restored only by reference to one or more interdependent corners or none of the above. Wow, that's a mouthful. I'm just tired from reading that and it would be impossible to just listen to me and know what that even means. So instead of reading this on the screen or listening to me talk about it, you need to pull out your trusty blue book. Like freebies? Subscribe to the NLC YouTube channel for free course previews, weekly how-to videos of actual questions, and lots more. Just click subscribe below. Make sure to click the bell next to subscribe to be notified of new video releases. That's right. Every surveyor watching this video, if you're going to sit for the California exam, should own a copy of the BLM manual. And if you say you don't have a hundred bucks to spend, you could actually download the BLM manual for free from the BLM website. So you've got to have a copy of this. And if you got a copy, pull it out and go to the section on existent obliterated, and lost corners, and read all three of those. So I'm serious. Pause the video right now and go read about those three definitions because that is going to solve your problem. All right. An existent corner is a corner which is actually physically there or it has monuments. If you have a corner, monument, or you have accessories of the corner, that corner is existent. Second, if the corner and all of the monuments are gone, but you've got some old timer who's going to walk up there with his pet pig and he's going to say, Sonny, I know where that corner is. I've seen it for 55 years. It's right here. Or it was right here. Well, that farmer, you may be laughing at him as he's spitting tobacco and you know, giving his pig a shampoo bath, but he is a qualified local person. He, he has, a, he's a landowner who knows something about the corner. So he tells you where it is. You put the monument back in. You check the monument to make sure it fits with the other monuments in the area. And then you have just made yourself an existent corner. You've transformed it from obliterated to existent. And third, the lost corner. You have to absolutely bend over backwards 
to try to make this corner existent or obliterated. Because when you start putting in an, a new monument, if you start creating a new corner from other evidence, then it's a crapshoot. And the BLM does not want surveyors calling a corner lost unless they are absolutely certain the corner is lost. If you can do anything to classify it as obliterated, any type of credible evidence, do it. Because resetting a lost corner from other corners that are miles and miles away, it, number one, it's a pain in the butt. Number two, it's expensive. And number three, it's not that accurate. But a lost corner is a corner that is not existent or obliterated. And therefore, you got to go out, find other corners, and reset this using, you know, single double proportion. So what do you think? Is an obliterated corner A, monuments and accessories, B, no remaining traces, but you can reset it using testimony, or C, no remaining traces? Sounds to me like it's going to be B. One, at whose point there are no remaining traces of the monument or accessories, but whose location can be perpetuated by other evidence. Know your public land system and know it well because it will be tested on your California exam. Want even more content for the California PLS exam? Join us for a complete online prep course that includes videos, handouts, workbooks, practice questions, and a full-length practice exam. This course has everything you need to pass the California PLS on your first try. Join me at nlcprep.com CA for more information.